Good morning, everybody. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and we are here at Ellis Home and Garden today to create a beautiful cemetery saddle for you. Um, we're excited to switch gears a little bit because cemetery saddles are something you guys can use in your everyday life. We all have loved ones who have passed away that we want to do something special for. So we've got the saddle here. We've got lots of roses and leather leaf and lots of great items that we're going to incorporate here on the saddle. So I'm going to give you guys just a second to make sure everything's working on our end and we can see your comments, your questions, make sure we see who's watching and all that stuff. I've got one who's watching. Okay. No comments yet. Let's just wait a sec. We started another video, guys, but it wasn't showing anything. So we want to make sure, of course, we can communicate with you um, throughout the video before we continue. So if y'all leave a comment down below, let us know you're here, where you're watching from. That one. You good? Yeah. And the views are going up? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, guys, we're good. All right, so Dean and I are excited to be here this morning to create this beautiful cemetery saddle. Don't forget, not only the products that I'm going to use today, but there's so much more, guys, are available at ellishomeandgarden.com. Everything is discounted, okay? And a little tip I'm going to give you guys, I probably shouldn't say this, it's a little bit early, but you guys know in the fall, one of my staples that I use that I consider gold is the maple ivy teardrops and swag. Um, those are now in stock on the website at ellishomeandgarden.com. We wanted to start early this year, give you guys plenty of opportunity to grab those swags. So if at any time during these videos on Tuesday you want to, you know, do a make and take with us while we do our videos, you could totally do that. So all you got to do is go to the website, in the search bar, type in Maple Ivy Swag, Maple Ivy Teardrop, and it's going to bring up those items for you. And I use those both, both in my personal life and my group and on Designs by Dylan as well as here at Ellis because it's, it's just fantastic. I, I mean... If they ever got rid of that stem or that swag, I don't know what I would do. So, y'all check it out. It's now on the website. So, y'all leave a comment as you come in. Let us know you're here, where you're watching from, any questions, comments you have. We're excited to catch up with you. I cannot believe May is almost over, guys. June is right around the corner. It's my birthday month. I'm excited. July, we're going to Cabo uh, during July 4th weekend. Memorial Day is this weekend. So, if you guys have any plans or, um, you know, whatever you want to do, y'all leave a comment. Let us know what you've got going. I'm excited. Hopefully, if it's not raining... We can have a little pool day because I haven't gotten the pool one time. This body is white as a Q-tip, and I need to get ready for Cabo. So I need some sunshine. I need some water, uh, some, some pool. But the water's probably cold because it's been raining so much, and it hadn't really been scorching hot, which I, I'm thankful for. All right, y'all. So we're going to do a cemetery saddle. We've got lots to talk about. If you have any questions, leave them down below about anything. It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll talk to you. We'll answer. If you're a first-time viewer, welcome. My name's Dylan. This is Dina behind the camera. And we're here at Ellis Home and Garden every Tuesday, 10 a.m. CST. So, if y'all leave a comment, let us know if it's your first time so we can welcome you. Okay, so I've got my saddle here. I'm going to start up next with my um, leather leaf fern. Uh, Gina's going to try and scooch all a little bit closer. That way you have better sound and also you can see a little bit better as well. Okay, so I'm going to start with my leather leaf fern. And this is a staple, I think, when you work with cemetery stuff, guys. And I start out by creating like a base or a perimeter around the styrofoam. And then you can kind of go up from there and move forward. Um, I've got an update on my on the cameras here. So we're just waiting on the internet guy to install the new um, high street internet. And I, from what I understand, we're like next in the line. So it should be very soon, hopefully within mm -hmm. the next week or two. Uh, but I bought these same cameras for my house, and it does make a huge difference. I was even impressed myself. So, um, you know, stay with us. I appreciate your patience as we get this issue resolved. You know, here in the Facebook Live world, we kind of, you know, fly by the seat of our pants as everybody else does. And we're always trying to do the improvements that we can to make the videos the best possible quality and sound for everybody watching. So um, I appreciate your patience, patience and we're going to get that handled as soon as we can. Weather-resistant flowers. We do. I don't know if Ellis has weather-resistant flowers, but that is a thing. They do make artificial uh, floral bushes that have a UV protectant on them. And what that means is it just is, it kind of helps, you know, uh, prevent the fading from the sun so quickly. But you could use some um, Scotch Guard or some Aquanet hairspray and put that on there, and that's going to do the same thing. It also helps repel... Um, you know any rain or water damage because you know if your flowers are outdoors whether it's a cemetery or not and they get water on them over time they're going to bleed and they're going to fade but that's helps slow down the process just a little bit okay so if you guys watched the american idol finale y'all leave a comment me and dina did we were just discussing who we thought our favorites were 
I was telling her that I think that um, I love Ch I like all the finalists, Grace, Chase, and Willie. You know, I, you know, I think Chase is a great winner. I mean, I don't think any of them are not. I would have liked to see Willie win, I think, but Grace killed it too. You know, honey, went, you know, anybody that sings Whitney Houston has my heart, okay? And my favorite outfit from her, Dina, was when she had that bone top on her head. She looked so good. Um, but they all do. And I guarantee y'all that the girl, what's the girl's name with the really long hair like the rocker girl? Casey. She will have success. She is such, she, she's only 15, God, I didn't know that. But she will have such success. She's so cool, relatable, and she's got a great voice. She's very talented, so I can't wait to see what happens with all their careers. <gasps> oh, and I'm so excited, y'all, because, you know, this COVID, okay, it's been going on and on and on, and I just can't talk about it anymore. But, um... They announced on American Idol, along with some other people, that um, like Vegas is opening back up. Broadway's coming back this fall. I think Katy Perry, Luke Bryan, Celine Dion. Oh, don't get me started. And um, Carrie Underwood, which I can't stand. She, um, <laughs> Dina, if I hear before he cheats one more time, I'm going to walk out the door. Um, they're coming back to Vegas starting this fall. So that's a good sign. I think opening up. And if you're watching from New York, let us know how it is. Because I heard that they lifted the mask mandate there. You can walk out without your mask. Things are starting to open. So hopefully... The second half this year and this Christmas is going to be the best year we've had. And then 2022 is just going to get even better. So y'all leave a comment if you live in those areas and let me know what you've heard, what you're doing. Are you excited, not excited, scared, nervous? Y'all leave a comment. Y'all, hopefully the volume will be fixed within the next couple of weeks. We're hoping. Okay, guys, so here is the base of our saddle. So we have um, the leather leaf fur. I'm going to put that down first. And because this is patriotic, we're going to use, uh, let's see, both the red and blue roses. So these are all discounted, guys, on the website, ultramangarden.com. If you wanted to do this in a different color, they've got some different colors available, too. So we're going to start out with the red. Put those on here. The great thing about this bush is that you also have a little surprise, which is the baby's breath. So you kind of get two stems out of one bush, okay? So let me cut this bush apart really quick. You like this all black ensemble today? Listen, I thought it was a good idea and walked out the house and I was white with dog hair. So uh, it was good for a minute, but I had to go back in a lint roll before I left. Everybody have a good weekend? We actually went, oh my gosh, I'll show you in the house. We went to Josh's, you know, Josh's and Mary Kay, and he went to his national sales director's house. So the nationals are the people who are like the top of the top. She got the hot pink, I mean, not hot, hot pink. She got the pink Escalade, you know, she is a, she's got. Just, it's just wonderful. So we went to her house in Dublin, Texas. Never had been there. Never had heard of it. I texted my friend Katie. She wanted me to go to lunch. She said, what are you doing? I said, girl, I'm in Dublin. She said, Ireland? I said, yes, we'll be back next week. No, I'm not in Dublin, Ireland. Girl, I'm in Dublin, Texas. But um, her name is Roxanne, guys, and she lives in this fantastic, fabulous house. It was built in the 1850s, and um, it's four stories, and it's stunning. And it's all original. She's restored it the way it was. She's got all the furniture in there, everything like that. Um, and it was haunted. And so the whole night we were sleeping, guys, I was like, one eye open, like, I cannot wait to see a ghost, but I didn't see no ghost. But we stayed in apparently the most haunted room in the house, and, uh, you know, Josh passed out. He, a ghost could slap him in the face, he wouldn't know. So I was constantly looking, girl, I was trying to fog the mirror up, maybe I get a little message, you know, because I'm intrigued by that stuff. But, um, I don't know, have you stayed in haunted hotels? I think you told me you did, right? Tracy, we do sell the leather leaf in store and online. Yes, guys, this is a great item. Um. Where did you stay at the hotel at? Which one? Jefferson? Jefferson. And you had some experience? Yeah, I think you told me that. So I love it. I would want to see it too. Guys, also over the weekend, we watched Halston on Netflix, which that was a designer and he's very popular, very famous, and um, he designed all the stars. His best friend was um, Liza Minnelli. So it was really cool. Um, and then after we watched that show, I became obsessed with the guy that was playing in Halston, which was, how do you say his name? Is it Ewan or Ellen? I think it's Ewan. I don't Ewan know. Ewan McGower. And y'all, I didn't know, but I looked him up, and he was in this movie called Moulin Rouge, and I'd never seen that before. I did about saying it, but I told her. But anyway, so we watched that movie, Moulin Rouge, and it was just so good. But no one told me it was sad, so at the end of it, I was ready to like go see a therapist. But it was still very good. Is there any other movies like that? I didn't know about any other musicals that I've missed. I know you've seen them right there. Sidebar, do you like that brown band? Mm -hmm. well, I've seen chicken brown on my work. <laughs> okay, y'all, so adding in the uh, roses. You like sound music? Mm -hmm. I love this new right now, probably. You seen the new one? Yeah. 
Yes. I believe that. You think she did a good job? I think she did. Las Vegas is open, 50th high school reunion scheduled for October. Oh, happy 50th reunion. That'll be fun. Are y'all going to any shows and stuff? Now y'all know, I'm getting close here. Um, I will have to cancel anything if Shania Twain comes back, okay? But I will be on the first day out of here. Um, cause she was in the middle of her residency when the whole world shut down. So honey, I'm gonna need her. She's been resting her voice. I need her to come back and She's gonna do something go big or go home. Yeah, she needs to keep singing, okay? That's what she needs to do to me. Uh, but I love her, y'all. But have you ever seen Celine Dion live? Mm -mm. Wouldn't you love to? I love her. What's your favorite song? Mine is, uh, It's All Coming Back to Me Now. Mine is Titanic. Like, oh, My Heart Will Go On, yeah. yeah. I love that song. Okay, y'all. I got my first layer of my red roses here. So now I'm going to work one side at the time. To me, that keeps me um, more focused and you know, it gives me a better idea of how big to make things, and then we'll kind of work our way out from there. Okay. So that's to start some June. You see it? I can see that. Yep, start some June. I'm ready for Dancing with the Stars. That's not coming back for the fall, but I'm ready. Kay watched Cats this weekend. Okay, Kay, listen. I saw the previews to that a long time ago when it came out, like two years ago or whatever, and I've never seen the Broadway play Cats, I never know what it's about, but it had a lot of fabulous people in it, and I love James Corden, you like him? All these people are great, Jennifer Hudson, Taylor Swift, eh, but you know, she was in it, and I was like, let me watch it. But it bombed, and I mean bombed, at the box office, like made 10 million, and it took like 400 million to make, and everybody said it sucked. It's okay, you're going to be the decipher of whether I watch it or not. So. Was it good? Would you give it a 1 out of 10, Kay? Let me know. Does it not bother you that some roses don't have baby's breath? No, it does not bother me. And I kind of like it because I feel like if you get too much of one component, like too much baby's breath or too many roses, it could be overwhelming. And it can give you like a clustered full effect, which you don't want. You want everything to be natural, airy, whiskey, just like fresh flowers. So I kind of like that it's every other one maybe because you have a little bit of baby's breath all over and it's not, you know, too much. Phantom of the Opera. I've seen Phantom of the Opera. I've never seen the movie, though. Did? I, I liked it. I've I seen it on Broadway. Broadway. Uh, oh. Well, me and Josh went to New York that one time. I'm still freezing. And uh, we saw Phantom of the Opera and Something Rotten, and it was very good. And, you know, I, I've never been to a Broadway show before. Have you been to New York? Mm -mm. So I wasn't sure what to expect. And, um, girl, when you, like, get in there, I was thinking it's just going to be, like, a stage thing. I didn't think there was going to be, like, all this stuff happening. And so it starts out, I know that Dylan's a small part at the beginning, and it's got this big chandelier that's kind of hanging crooked at the ceiling. Anyway, and it blows up, like in the Broadway play, and the, sh the sh chandelier comes swinging, like all the way through the audience, back to like the back risers, and then the show starts. It was very good. And everything that was happening on stage, like at one, one point they were like in a boat, and it looked like it was on water moving. It was crazy. Mm. Can you turn the arrangement and let, us, let them see what you've done so far? Yes, absolutely. So here's what I have so far. I just have my top layer, I have the bottom layer, and then I'm working right here in the middle to fill in my gap, so to speak, and then I'm gonna come over to this side and do the same thing, okay? And I'll try and turn it as I progress, that way you can see what I've added and what I'm gonna add. I haven't seen it, but Judy says Jersey Boys is a good one. Okay, and did you know, y'all, so last night when I was looking at the Moulin Rouge, because there's a, a Broadway about that, they have a Miss Doubtfire musical on Broadway. And I don't know if it would suck or not. I would go see it just because I love Miss Doubtfire. So that's like one of those movies, y'all, that if it's on TV, I don't care what it is. I will watch it from the last five minutes or all the way through. But I told y'all, and I told anyone when I watched this, I'd never seen, what's the other one called before, Tipsy? And I'd love that just as much. So I'd probably watch, I'd probably watch that too, y'all. Kay says, it wasn't as good as I always expected that Jennifer Hudson was the best. Of course. Doesn't she sing Memory in that song? And she, do you like Jennifer Hudson? She sings that. I could listen to her all day long. Michelle says, Jersey Boys is amazing. Okay. So if you've seen a Broadway show, that's a good question. Y'all know I love a poll. Leave a comment. Let us know what your favorite Broadway show is. Um, I've heard, you know, we only saw two. But I also heard that from some people, it's kind of mixed. The Lion King is the best. I heard some people hate it. They said it's not relatable, it's cheesy, it's corny. So y'all leave a comment, let me know. Wicked? Mm. Did 
Josh has seen that. I have not. But they're coming to Dallas this August. And so I'm going to go see it with him. Burlesque. I love that, too. They have a Broadway bathtub? Honey, I was going to do it in a heartbeat. Only if they did a little move, you know, with the, the fingers would tear apart. And there was some other... Oh, I don't know if it's still planned, but I would have went and seen Frozen on Broadway. That looked amazing. Did you like Frozen, too? Okay, so y'all, we keep dropping things. I've got this side done right here. So now I'm going to come to this side and finish it out. About how much, how, how much money do you have in a saddle like this? Um, it just depends on the flowers that you use, you know. These are all discounted. I think they're like three for ten bucks. Uh, so in this one, maybe forty dollars by the time I get everything in there. Um, but you can really create a pretty saddle without breaking the bank, guys. Just make sure you pay attention to your sales and get things discounted. And good thing, ellatomegarden.com, where everything's discounted. And you can, you know, change this up with any roses. Only time you're going to have a ton of money invest in a saddle or a, sim a uh, what's it called, casket spray, is if you use individual stems. Because I'm getting like 10, 10 stems on one bush. But if you use individual stems that are great, high quality, which I totally recommend if you want to really make something special, those look so fresh and so realistic, and then you're going to have about 100, 150 in there. Kelly loved Mama Mia on Broadway. I've never seen a movie. Have you seen Mama Mia too? Mm -mm. Do you like the movie? The first one? No. I've never seen that. Katie, Beauty and the Beast in Houston. I would love to be anything Disney, me and Dean are going for. Mm -hmm. They don't have to tell us what the name of it is. We'll go see it. I love it. You know, another fun one they should do is Pirates of the Caribbean on Broadway. Yeah. That'd be fun. How many bushes do you use? So I'm using four bushes of the red roses. And let me tell you how many is on one bush. Just ten. There's ten stems on one bush, guys, no matter what color you get. I've got some blue ones there. I might, I might add in a little bit. But there's ten on one bush. I would use... Four on a saddle and four on a tone. Okay, so either way. And it would cost you like 15 bucks. I love Panama Bianca. But I'll tell you all one thing. Next trip I take to New York will be in the fall. Okay, not at Christmas because I'm still cold. It was wonderful. It was magical, just like you would think. But it's so cold. Sell Phantom of the Opera in London. Oh, wow, but that was awesome. I'm jealous. You ever heard of Dear Evan Hansen? <laughs> That's another one. You ever seen Hamilton on Disney Plus? <laughs> me either, but that was supposed to be like a big hit. I don't care for rap music, really, although I love me some Cardi B, but I don't, uh, I have to really be in the mood for that, but I don't really care for rap music. Or hip hop, that's what it is. But y'all know I've been stuck lately on Tony Braxton, okay? What's that song? You mean the world to me? I was jamming to that red light today. I looked over, everybody was staring at me. All the kids in the car, I thought it was funny. But anyway, I love Tony Braxton. And I love, you know what I love, Venus? You probably hate him. Um, love him so much. Okay, why don't they sing anymore? They made such good hits. I mean, I'm sure they probably tore, but why don't they have their music? They're from the 90s. But they're older now. You like Bon Jovi? I love Bon Jovi. What's the girl? Let me tell you a story. Y'all, let me tell you a story. I love, I mean, I just, my favorite karaoke song would be um, Total Eclipse of My Heart, okay? Whoever sings that, Bonnie something. You know how I sing that? Bonnie Wright. Bonnie Wright. She has blown her voice, okay? She looks incredible. She's got a full facelift, but I was watching like a performance from a year ago, and she has blown, I guess rockers do, but she's blown her voice. Okay, we're going to go through a little poll. I'm going to ask you some questions about music, because y'all know she's obsessed. She's like, this is her American Idol tryout. Um, do you like, because everybody loves her, and I really don't care for Dina. What's in her name? I can't think. Blonde, long hair, bangs, 80s. You know, um, what is her name? Stevie Nicks. I like Stevie Nicks. Okay, Dina likes her. I think she's okay. Um, who else can we ask her about? Do you like Ryan Adams? Oh, so much 69. I love that song. Um, who sings Bad Your Arms Tonight? I like that song. Y'all look, we got all the roses in there. So now we're going to 
come back with our leather leaf again and fill in all this space before we add some other things. I can't remember. Is that Phil Collins? Uh, what's that? What's that Pop Tarzan song that'll be in my heart? Um, if it's 80s, I pretty much, yeah. I'm trying to think who had multiple hits, though. You like Whitney Houston, but sure Whitney Houston song. Mine's Ryan Peters, always. If you're, da if you're dancing, I want to dance with somebody. I love that song, too. She's literally every single song she's sung is a hit, so I, I know them all. What's your favorite Dolly Parton song? Mine is uh, Candy Hearts Candy Curse. Yes. Okay. <laughs> No one, she never sings that live anymore, y'all, and that is such an underestimate, uh, underestimated song. I freaking love it. Okay, y'all, so I'm going. It's not really a Christmas song. But. True, true. I'm going through here, y'all, and just adding in my leather leaf. You can cut it in smaller pieces, and you want to do this to fill in your saddle. Yeah, Judy just said the most difficult part of doing the saddle is filling in and getting it too big. Yes, that is true. You want to have balance all the way through, y'all. So don't, don't, you know, hammer it too hard, you know, so to speak. You don't want to put too much in there. And if you do want a ton of variety, then you want to leave a lot of spaces in between your roses. So maybe use three rose bushes versus um, four, okay? Now I'm talking about just 80 stuff, and I can't even think about Another person to Tracy tell her. says on sets we always used a pick machine to secure the flowers and you make it look smooth and no problem. Okay, so here's the thing about the pick machine. I love a pick machine as much as the next person. Trust me, I've almost lost a finger. Love them. But it's easy to put in any stem if it's going directly into styrofoam. Once you get all this leather leaf in there, you've got all these leaves in the way and you can't really make direct contact with the styrofoam. Not saying it's impossible because I do it like that a lot. But that is where I would use a pit machine because it just kind of goes through anything that's down there really quick. Michelle, yes, he, he would glue it if he were doing it for himself or for a client. But this is for demonstration purposes, so he's not. Okay, tell me some other people you like, maybe. Judy says she started putting moss in. So I don't ever use moss on saddles because you can't ever see the foam. And I feel like you only need to use moss when you need to camouflage that for some reason, whether if you're going to see it or not. But just put a thin layer, and I would prefer Spanish moss over sheet moss because it's a lot easier to get your stems through. And don't ever glue your moss, okay, because that creates a hard layer of hot glue. Then you can't get your stems in there. Use some greening pens. Prince, Journey, Jeff, Jeff Lynn, Okay. I like Prince. He's not one I would jam out to, though. I guess I, I, the Michael Jackson's who I jam out to. Love him. Okay, I got a question for you, Dina. I got a question for all of y'all, okay? If you could go to a concert of someone that is dead, who would it be? Mine would be Michael Jackson. And I know that's hard, because I also want to see Whitney, but she's going to have to stay over there. Okay, I got to see Michael first. I'm anxious to see y'all's responses. Okay, I take that back. Bye, Michael. I want to see Queen with Freddie Mercury. Okay, that's who I want to see. I was going to say that, and then Stoney said Queen also, just then. Yeah. Now, I mean, Adam Lambert's fantastic. I think they couldn't have picked a better person to fill his shoes, but it's not Freddie Mercury. Queen, Elvis, Prince, Michael Jackson. Uh, a lot of people Elvis. say Elvis. A lot of people say Elvis. I like Donna Cash too. You like him? Man in Black. Whitney. We want to see Whitney's pretty body, pretty bodyguard. Okay, we want her to have a voice. So, you know, don't just bring her back there on stage. Now we gotta wait to see, you know, before everything went bad. George Jones. I don't know who that is. It's country, a, old country. No, ma'am. You like George <clears throat> Strait? Mm-hmm. You like Garth Brooks? Mm-hmm. You like Frank Atkins? Ooh, Eagles. I saw them. I won tickets to them. I got front, front row. The Beatles would be good, too. You like them? Yes. Leather leaf leaves is what he's using. Yes, guys, Ooh. these are on the website. And remember, anytime we tell you something that we're using, if you can't find it, just go to the search bar. This is called leather leaf. It's like leather, like you would, you know, leather boot, leaf. And then um, type in rose bushes. If you want those maple ivy swags or teardrops, type that in. And that's going to kind of bring it up for you. Or it should help. So
Sinatra, George Michael. What's your favorite Frank Sinatra song? Mine's My Way. That's yours. Yeah. Jimi Hendrix. This is fun. I never thought about this. The Bee Gees. The Bee Gees, yeah. Do you like Parker Khan? I like Do you like Diana Ross? Yes. <gasps> love some Diana Ross, y'all. Love her. Okay, and I'm going to tell y'all somebody I hate. Close your ears. Okay, because if y'all come after me, I'm going to have to just take it. I can't stand Madonna. What are your thoughts, Dan? Don't get me wrong. In the beginning. I love Like a Virgin, but let's go ahead and keep it there. Material mm -hmm. world, but that's it. She is just too much. He was in that. Joaquin Phoenix was in. Walk the line. Yeah. I liked her in the beginning. Me but too. as she, but about mid, midstream, she kind of went out there. Deep mm -hmm. And she dates like twelve-year-olds. <laughs> I mean, she gets those young, young guys. Someone was asking about the tattoo on your hand. Oh, okay. Y'all probably can't see it really good in here, but. Uh, when my grandmother passed away, it's been like three years ago, she hated tattoos, <laughs> and she would die if she knew I got a tattoo, but um, I took my birthday card, we were like best friends, I took my birthday card with her signature, because she always wrote, love you, Nan, and um, so I took that, and they scanned it at the tattoo place, and I have a tattoo on my wrist with her signature, so it says, love you, Nan, and um, it hurt like heck, and so this is the only tattoo I'll ever have, Josh got the same one, so his grandmother passed away right after mine did. And so we both have tattoos. We got them together on our wrist. His is his grandmother's signature, and mine is mine. And this is the only tattoo, and I love it. Every time I look at it, it makes me smile, makes me think of her. But it also makes me cringe thinking about how it hurt, um, because it did hurt. Did you think yours hurt? Mine didn't hurt. Oh, Dana. Well, I guess because I got mine in a sensitive spot, but... It yeah. all depends on the person doing it, too. Some people have a light touch, and some people have a heavy touch. And the thing is, you're going to laugh. It took about four seconds, but that was the longest four seconds ever. And then Josh is saying... We should go back and get them touched up. I'm like, no, you can. I got a sharpie. Uh uh. Forget it. I got to get mine on my shoulder touched up. All right, guys. So now I have all of this done. So this could be a stopping place if you choose. Okay. But I'm going to go back and add in a little bit of my favorite, which is this firm, because it's going to make it airy and natural and it's going to give it some uh, height. Okay. Okay. Let's do you like share? I'm trying to think of people still that we didn't talk about. Anyway, I'm always interested to see who she dislikes because the people I would love, like Shannara, she can't stand because she's not still in a feud with her from 2001 or whenever. So I've got a thing. That was from the 90s. Oh, see? Talk about holding a grudge, people. Okay? Don't make Dina mad. She'll hold a grudge. You like Kelly Clarkson? I love her. Okay. She's got an incredible voice. I feel mm -hmm. like her range is awesome. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go through and add in pieces of my fern. This is on the website, too. This is just a Boston fern. This is where you have to be careful because you do have a lot of that foam hidden, but you could use your paper scene if you wanted. I love that Midler, too. <gasps> love her. Don't know everything she sings except for Wind Beneath the Wings, but, you know, it's all I know. Did you see? They announced Hocus Pocus 2. Yes. Okay. All three people are, um, this is breaking news, people. Welcome to CNN and Fox News. Um. All three cast members are returning, Sarah, Bette, and Kathy, and let me tell you something right now, I'll be ticked if they don't bring back the original Billy, okay, ticked, and uh, I want them to bring back all the characters in some capacity, even if they just pass through, I mean, but they said the plot is there's three young witches who bring back the Sanderson sisters after 300 years, and then they have to worry about all the chaos when it happens, and let me tell you, there better be chaos, because that first movie is so iconic, they could totally screw this up, so hopefully it's good. Trace has been holding on to share tickets for 18 months. Trace is out of COVID. Funny story. Share is the last person that I saw before the pandemic. Promise you. We went to the concert on a Thursday night. On a Friday night, she canceled her tour. The world shut down. And what a way to go out, okay? Because she was awesome, y'all. She was so good. And she did. She sings a lot of ABBA, which I was, I'm really, talking about holding grudges. Yeah, I'm really holding a grudge with her because she didn't sing Gypsy Tramps and Thieves. And I'm like, how do you do a concert and not sing that? But she only does that in her Vegas show. Um, but she did a lot of ABBA, which was good. I love Waterloo and all that stuff. Um, but she did sing some of the burlesque stuff. And, um, of course, you know, uh, with the song Believe and with the other one she sings, Come Back Time. She just sung all that. Do you like singing Mm-hmm. I love, what's the song, Girls Just Want to Have Fun? Very Manilow. I don't even know anything he sings, I don't think. Copacabana. Oh, okay. Is that his one hit? I don't, <laughs> I don't That's know. That's the one everybody him. knows. 
Uh, okay, y'all. I'm filling this in with my. Isn't that firm, pretty in there? Y'all see it in there? It sticks out a little bit longer than everything else, so that's why I really like this. Judy saw and used him before Harvey. Who? Chip? Mm hmm. Okay, let's go through some singers, just regular singers, and see if Dina likes them, because I'm always interested. Okay, did I bring Spears? Charlotte, yes, we know there is um, only a few white flowers, shoo, white flowers on there. Okay, what'd you ask? Did I bring Spears? Nine is Brittany. Nine is Brittany. Okay, she's good at concerts, she's singing all the hits. If it was nineties, yeah. Okay. You like Christina? I love Christina. Um, you like Aretha? No, you're not a fan of Christina, but I like Christina. No, I do like Christina. I think she can can overdo it. Is that Mariah Carey? Mm -hmm. Back in the day. Yeah. Let me go on those songs. She's another one like Whitney Houston. You know every song she's sung. Um, Jennifer Lopez. I like J Lo. Barbara Streisand. What did you think about J Lo's halftime performance? Did you love it or hate it? I liked it. People said it was too sexy. Girl, 50-50, and you got it, plot it. That's how I see it. If you're 80, you got it, plot it. So I thought she did a stellar job. Tracy's asking, can you buy leather leaf or the firm by box or case? Um, I'm not sure on that. Probably, but you have to contact someone at corporate offices or the warehouse. Just go to the website, top, click on locations, find the corporate office or the warehouse, and they'll give you some information on, about doing that because... I use leather leaf all the time. In sync, ninety two degrees. Is that called in? Do you like, like all, in sync? Do you like what's that song called? Is that all for one? Is that a band or a song? Yeah, it's it's a band. Do you like Boys to Men? Love Boys to Men. Girl, don't get me started. Okay, love them. Billy Joel, Elton John. Josh just saw Elton John before and said it was great. See the Elton John movie? Yes, he has age like fine wine, Kelly. Um, they want to see the bottom. Okay. So it's on a base, a saddle base. And you can purchase those on the website, too. And look at that fern, y'all. It's so pretty. Now I'm about to add a little bit up here at the top. So this is a great idea. If, say, like, my, I'm a man, and my favorite color is red. But if you want to put something at a man's gray, but you don't want it to be too feminine, just fill it like I am with lots of greenery. And that way, you have a great full saddle, but you also... Uh, make it full, you know? Neil Diamond. What's something he sings? Okay, I'm going to tell you somebody now. Listen, people, don't come for me. I don't like him, Dina. I can't. I, I don't relate. Jimmy Buffett. You like his stuff? Yes. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's like Dixie Chicks. <gasps> Love them. Are you still holding the grudge of a president problem? <laughs> No. It's hard to think of everybody. Do you like everybody except for Shania Twain? And Steve Shack. Who's the most people you don't like? Oh, I have to think about it. But before Shania and you had your few, you did like her? Yeah. Say, Dina yeah. loved her. If she went no. to a concert, she'd be over there singing. She'd lie. Mm -hmm. It's got. Michelle, it's got the clips on it that you can bend down and you can set it across. Yeah, so these right here, guys, this bends down. And it, it, you know, you put it over the top of your saddle. And I use boxing tape to wrap around there and then pull the greenery down so that way it doesn't blow off in the wind. Because y'all know out there in the wind, it'll blow off and bring down the temperature. Red Hot Chili Peppers, U2, TLC. Scrub. Love that song. Mm -hmm. Randy Travis. You like um, Chubby Keith? I like Toby Keith. Frank Atkins. Mm-hmm. Luke Bryan. Mm-hmm. Neil McCoy. Mm-hmm. Who, uh... I went to one of his fan club things when, when it was called Fanfare. Mm-hmm. Went to one of his fan club things up there, and I said, you know, it's kind of sad that I live in Long Beach, too, and I have to come to Nashville to your fan club mm -hmm. to see you. Exactly. You like me like Faith Hill? Yeah. <laughs> She's got a grudge with her two people, but I do love Faith Hill. Okay, y'all. I had a really good time this morning. We just finished our saddle. Do you like the greenery in there? I love it. 
And you can always go back, for those of you who are wanting a different color, and add another filler in here. You could do baby breath, you could do purple, you could do pink, you could do yellow, it would be fabulous with red. All that stuff. But this is a great idea, something you could do for a man. I know patriotic's coming up. You've got a lot of people, a lot of veterans who passed away. This is a great idea. You could always stick a little bow in there if you wanted with patriotic ribbon. There's so many different things that you guys could do. Tina Turner. Oh, don't even. I am obsessed with Tina Turner. She is the number one rock star in the world. Um, if you guys have not seen her documentary on HBO Max, it's heartbreaking. It's fabulous. It's inspiring. You need to go watch it. It's, ugh, I love it. Um, anyway. Um, you guys can find all of these materials and so much more at ellishomeandgarden.com. Remember, use that search bar. If you're searching for something, can't find it. We use rose bushes. There's 10 stems on a bush. We use leather leaf fern. Type that in. We use Boston fern. The base is on there. The foam's on there. Everything you need to make this, and there's so much more. Those maple ivy swags and teardrops, guys, are already on the website, which is the fall thing that I use every single time to do a fall video. So just type into the top, maple ivy teardrop or swag, and those should pull up, and you can go ahead and just get on those. Okay? Well, I love you guys for watching. I hope you are having a great week and a great day. I'm excited um, for what's to come. Um, I'm excited for the world to open back up. I'm excited to go into my car and listen to all these songs now that we've talked about it. And I'm about to meet my friend Katie for lunch at 11. We're going to catch up and i got to go home and work on some orders. So, hope you guys have a great week. I appreciate you and love you for watching. Uh, Dean and I are excited to be here every week. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday, 10 a.m. CST, here at Old Home and Garden. You know, stay safe this weekend. Yes, be safe, don't drink and drive people. All right, bye, y'all. Bye.